charts and what is called technical analysis. Now technical analysis is basically looking at an actual chart, sometimes putting on indicators, sometimes putting on volume, sometimes putting on a variety of different things to try and get a grasp of potentially where the market is going to go to help you make your trading decisions. So let's look at the very basics of charts for now and then let's move on a little bit deeper as we go through. So what I'm going to do is if we ignore the bottom two panels for now and just look at this top chart, this is probably very, very familiar with many people out there. It's just a standard line chart. And how's a standard line chart made up? Very simply, in this instance, we've got a daily chart of the FTSE. So a daily chart basically means that it is plotting the price of the FTSE at the end of the day on a line chart. So it is ultimately plotting a dot, another dot when the price changes that's the end of the day that's the price that's the end of the day that's the price that's the end of the price and then the package the charting software is automatically drawing up joining up these lines to create this uh, line chart now this isn't something that many people will use as traders many active traders will do you know it's something you can look at and you can get an overall picture to see broadly what's happened so here i can see you know we're in a bit of a range we've come down a bit lower we've gone a bit higher it's given me some information but it's not given me an awful lot of information it's given me a very basic overview of the market and it's the kind of thing that do you know uh in non-professionals will look at perhaps it's the sort of thing that goes in the paper that's not a specific um you know paper about financial markets is more a paper to give people a broad overview of what's going on so that's a line chart very very simple very very basic we tend not to use those nothing to say you can't use it to get a, a good picture overall picture of what's going on but there's far better charts to use out there that give us a lot more information let's look at a bar chart now i'm on exactly the same FTSE daily chart um, but let's have a look in terms of how this works and what information is being displayed. So let's drill down into one specific bar. So a bar chart has uh, basically f four reference points. You've got the high of the bar here. In fact, you know what, you will use this one as an example here. This is going to be an easier example for us to look at. It's the biggest one on the screen, so why not use this one? So we have four reference points in our bar chart. Uh, we have the high of the bar, the low of the bar, this little uh, little cutout here going to this side, and then we've got this one here going to this side. Now this is the high of the day. So we're again on a daily chart, so each bar is representing a day's worth of trade for the FTSE 100 on this specific day, it looks like the 18th of April. So the very, very high point that the bar reached is equivalent to the very high point, the highest tick, the highest price point the FTSE got to during that day. The low is the same. It's the lowest price that the FTSE got to during that day. And then on the left-hand side here, this is where the FTSE opens. So 8 o'clock in the morning, if we're looking at the cash FTSE, that's the opening price. So that's with that little tiny... Um, uh, cut out to the side and then the other side is the closing price of the FTSE. So we've got four times the information or three extra pieces of information that we didn't have. If you remember we look at the line chart, all we had was the close. We didn't know where the thing opened, we didn't know how how high it went during the day, how low it went during the day. Uh, all we knew was where it closed. So we, we, we were basically were almost trading blind. If we were looking at that, looking at our decisions, we don't really know what's happened. So why is that important? Well, let's have a look and scroll down over to here, for example. Okay, this bar here is showing us a lot of information, useful information that a line wouldn't have shown us. Now, bearing in mind a line is just going to connect up the closing prices here. So looking to the right-hand side um, of the bar each time. You're not going to see on a line chart the fact that during the day, this FTSE went all the way down to here, and then in the same day came all the way back up again. And that information is lost in a line chart. So this is why traders like to look at charts that give a bit more information. Of course, if you scroll out and you're looking at the bigger picture, you can still see what's happened. It's still visualizing the same thing. If we flick from line to a bar you can still see exactly the kind of position we're in there's our line there's our bar it's the same visual representation but there's far more information you look here we could see we basically broke the low of the year at that point on that day but mr line chart 
doesn't even show us that. It actually shows us that we're a higher low. And that's correct. That is correct because it's plotting the, the close, but it's not showing intraday. You know, maybe that's a pattern that you want to trade off. Maybe it's something that's very, very interesting to you. Maybe if you had a stop loss, you'd have been stopped out or a limit order, you would have been filled. So this is why we use uh, these kind of charts.